So I wanted to start by really just thanking Amy and the whole Mobius team for what they've created in this space, in this room. I've been, like many of you, to many conferences, and I've been to many retreats, and I've always found that I've had one foot in one camp and another foot in another camp. And to come here and to feel the, the sangha, to feel the community, to feel what's been created is truly, truly special. So thank you. Thank you for what, for what you've done. So tonight, I want to talk about some experiences that I've had um, and some work that I've done in helping leaders step through and transcend some of the challenges of the 21st century. Um, and to kick this off, I want to tell you a story. So over the past few years, I've had the privilege of attending the World Economic Forum at Davos. Um, and I've done that primarily to conduct research. Um, and the two questions that I'm often asking CEOs is, how is your job changing? And secondly, how strong is the pipeline of people coming through the organization that have the skills to lead? Um, and if you're interested more in that research, if you Google CEO report and side business school, you can download the report that we did. But one conversation I had three years ago, I think will stay with me for a long, long time. And it went something like this. For the past 40 years, it feels like I've been climbing a mountain. And that mountain is my own leadership journey. It's the journey of the company that I lead. And to some extent, it's the industry that I've been part of building. And he said this, the problem is I'm standing on top of the mountain. And in many ways, I feel, should feel you know, happy, content, proud about what we've achieved. The problem is. The mountain's crumbling beneath me, and I'm surrounded by fog. And if I'm really honest, I don't know where to take this company. And I sat there, and it took me a moment to take it in. You know, this was somebody who was running multiples of billions of dollars of euros, um, who should be alpha. You know, that's what we expect. But there was a brutal honesty about what he was saying. And there wasn't a share price crisis. There wasn't an activist investor. There wasn't a crisis with social media. There were none of these things. But he was sensing and picking up on something. So I'm going to talk more about what I did with that conversation. But my invitation to you now is to join me in a guided meditation that I've created. And the question is, where are you on that mountain? Where's your organization? And where are your clients?